A nuclear specialist has warned that Vladimir Putin may use tactical nuclear weapons in Ukraine as combat casualties increase and victory is improbable. This might lead to the outbreak of a third world war. Nuclear expert Dr. Baram Gyasi stated that Putin might see the use of tactical nuclear weapons as a justified escalation of the conflict in Ukraine if he believes his forces are losing and Kiev is receiving arms from the West. Dr. Gyasi said that if Putin were to use his 1,816 tactical nuclear weapons against Ukraine, the radioactive fallout would endanger the lives of people residing in NATO nations, including Hungary, Poland, Romania, and Slovakia. With a yield of up to 100 kilotons, these nuclear weapons are five times more potent than the American atomic bombs unleashed on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945. The UK and NATO may interpret this as a nuclear assault on member states and compel them to declare war on Russia in accordance with Article 5 of the Military Alliances Treaty. According to Dr. Gyasi, an associate fellow at the Henry Jackson Society Thinken, a third world war might break out if the UK and its NATO allies retaliated by aiming their own cutting-edge nuclear weapons at Russia. A major nuclear confrontation in Europe could result from the UK's direct involvement, using its advanced nuclear missiles under NATO's auspices, Dr. Gyasi warned. He urged the UK to utilize its diplomatic connections to caution Putin from intensifying the conflict, because doing so would expose him to the full force of Western wrath. The executive director of the Henry Jackson Society, Alan Mendoza, believes that if Putin believes he is losing the fight in Ukraine, then such a doomsday scenario will come to pass. There are fears that Putin might use nuclear weapons to turn the tide of battle in his favor if his growing desperation to win a war he is slowly losing turns to outright panic. Mendoza stated, This is not as unbelievable as it first appears. Throughout the fight, Russia has already conducted nuclear drills, and according to Russian nuclear doctrine, it is permissible to use nuclear weapons to defend the motherland in the event that it is directly threat. Who knows what accusations a terrified Putin, fearing the overthrow of his government, will make in order to preserve his own skin. Since beginning his full-scale invasion of Ukraine, Putin has in fact issued warnings stating that Moscow is prepared to employ all available means a reference to its nuclear arsenal to repel attacks on Russian territory that it deems existential. Russia is estimated to possess about 2,000 tactical nuclear weapons, compared to the United States 100. These weapons consist of artillery rounds, bombs that may be transported by aircraft, and warheads for short-range missiles. When compared to considerably more potent nuclear warheads attached to long-range missiles that may destroy entire cities, tactical nuclear weapons are designed for use in combat and have a limited yield and range. They are seen by Moscow as a means of making up for NATO's dominance in cutting-edge conventional weaponry since the end of the Cold War. Dr. Gyasi issued a warning, stating that Putin might actually hit the fatal button given Russia's withdrawal from the New Start, its determination to transfer nuclear weapons to Belarus, and the lowering of the bar for their deployment. Nuclear weapons have cast a long shadow over the conflict from the beginning, Dr. Gyasi stated. Russia may use the extension and intensification of the conflict, the West's provision of cutting-edge weaponry, and the Kremlin's inability to accomplish its military goals as justification to deploy its tactical nuclear weapons on the battlefield, with disastrous results. The Russian Federation's security doctrine has been more stringent in recent years regarding the use of nuclear weapons. From situations critical for the national security of the Russian Federation in 2000 to the more specific aggression involving the use of conventional weapons when the very existence of the state is under threat in 2014, Russia has raised the bar. That would mean losing territory like Crimea, which would put Putin's hold on power in jeopardy. 1,816 low-yield, short-range tactical nuclear bombs are part of Putin's arsenal of 5,889 nuclear warheads, and Russia has acknowledged having tested the weapons. Russia has been practicing delivering a massive nuclear strike by strategic offensive forces in response to an enemy nuclear strike, according to Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu. 
Dr. Gyasi issued a warning, saying that not just Ukrainians would suffer if Putin did deploy tactical nuclear weapons on their kind. It is probable that radioactive fallout would travel westward and affect NATO members such as Poland, Hungary, Romania, and Slovakia. Dr. Gyasi cautioned that as a result, it might be seen as an attack using radioactive weapons on NATO members and start a third world war. As per Article 5 of NATO's founding treaty, member nations concur that an armed strike against one or more of them shall be regarded as an attack against them all. Each NATO member will support the attacked country or countries with whatever action it deems necessary in the event that such an attack takes place. A devastating Western retaliation may ensue as several NATO members, including the US, UK, and France, have nuclear weapons of their own. In order to de-escalate Russia's dangerous nuclear rhetoric, Dr. Gyasi encouraged the US, UK, and France the permanent members of the UN Security Council to employ all diplomatic and political options. He declared, since the beginning of the armed conflict in Ukraine, the threat of nuclear war has hung over Europe. It would therefore be better for us all if Russia were to be reminded that in nuclear terms, MAD can only ever stand for mutually assured destruction, argues Mendoza, who concurs. The best way to avoid a nightmare tomorrow is to strongly and convincingly warn Putin and his allies that they would not withstand a guaranteed Western response to such behavior now. Experts have cautioned that Putin is moving soldiers and nuclear weapons into Belarus in preparation for a larger conflict. According to representatives in Moscow and Minsk, the warheads that were shipped to Belarus might have been installed on short-range Iskander missiles or transported by Belarusian C-25 ground attack aircraft. With a border of 673 miles with Ukraine, Belarus now has tactical nuclear weapons. Should Moscow choose to use them, this will facilitate easier and faster access for Russian aircraft and missiles to prospective targets in Belarus. Additionally, it would increase Russia's potential to use tactical nuclear weapons, which Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko claims are around five times more potent than the U.S. atomic bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945 to strike multiple NATO allies in Eastern and Central Europe. For months, Putin and his allies have been warning that the conflict in Ukraine would escalate into a nuclear conflict. In June, the dictator in Russia issued a warning, saying that in a third world war, there will be no winners, including America. The United States pretends not to be afraid of an escalation of the conflict in Ukraine, but sane people there clearly do not want to take this to a third world war, Putin stated in a barely concealed threat. There won't be any winners in a third world war, not even America. Additionally, earlier this year, Dmitry Medvedev, the deputy head of Russia's Security Council, issued a warning that, in accordance with the country's security doctrine, attempts by Ukraine to retake Crimea through counteroffensive pose a threat to the very existence of the Russian state and thus call for a nuclear response. At the time, Medvedev declared, every day that Western weapons are supplied to Ukraine brings the nuclear apocalypse close. According to Ukrainian military analysts, Putin wants to use nuclear blackmail to deter Kiev's counteroffensive weaponry from coming from Ukraine's Western allies.